For many war-torn countries, the arrival of the coronavirus has been slow. But now, it's spreading in Gaza, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, and beyond. How can people in these fragile countries take preventative measures? How can you social distance yourself in an overcrowded camp? How can you wash your hands regularly when there is no running water, let alone soap or sanitizer? If Corona can overwhelm well-equipped, well-functioning hospitals in Europe, what happens in Yemen, where half the healthcare facilities are not functional? Or Somalia, where there are nine hospital beds for every 10,000 people? But it's not hopeless. We have fought other outbreaks, cholera, Ebola, scabies, and tuberculosis. We know that rapid action can help avert the worst. When cholera first hit Yemen, more than one million people were affected. The worst outbreak in recorded history. And cholera, unlike corona, can kill in a matter of hours through extreme dehydration. We saved lives by providing clean water, improving sanitation, and supporting hospitals with essential medicines. Now, to fight corona, we are working hard in countries like Syria to ensure clean water is accessible, that sanitation systems are functioning, and soap is in all our aid packages. To fight Ebola, which at times had a death rate of 50%, prevention was essential. Congolese Red Cross teams went door to door telling families how Ebola spreads and worked with community elders and religious leaders to talk about the symptoms and the importance of early treatment. Myths were exposed, truths were told. Now, we're working with our Red Cross and Red Crescent volunteers across the world to share accurate information about how to limit the coronavirus. When doctors and nurses get sick, people stop trusting hospitals. During the Ebola crisis, many pregnant women risked home births. Maternal fertility surged. Today, to protect healthcare workers battling corona, we're providing face masks, aprons, and gloves. We also know that triaging patients is very important to limit viruses. In the Democratic Republic of Congo and Somalia, we're helping hospitals to separate confirmed corona patients from suspected cases and put in place isolation facilities. We know from our work in prisons, screening is vital to control tuberculosis, a highly infectious, often deadly disease which can even be multi-drug resistant. We work with authorities to disinfect detention centers and medically screen new arrivals and identify and treat those infected with tuberculosis. And it is essential that hand-washing stations are available for all, guards and detainees. These measures are effective for tuberculosis and they can help limit corona. Syria, Gaza and South Sudan have closed their schools. Iraq has a nationwide curfew. In Yemen, ports are closed and new arrivals tested for the virus. These fragile countries are taking action. So will we. In prisons, refugee camps, damaged hospitals, we will help.